Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Dr. Elmendorf, uh, I, I kind of want to ask a two-part question like Senator Portman did. First of all, in 2009, when we had the $800 billion stimulus package before the Congress, uh, I believe you were CBO director, you were just starting then. Yes. And uh, CBO issued a report that uh, is a common type of report that we see from uh, economists who testify before us, which said that the stimulus package, which was entirely borrowed money, uh, would in the short term have a stimulative effect, and that in the longer term, which if I recall correctly was two or three years, uh, starting in two or three years, it would start to have a depressing effect on the economy because of the impact of the borrowing. Uh, is that your rec recollection of, of that report? So our analysis, Senator, and we actually still update this uh, pursuant to federal law on a regular basis, is that um, the Recovery Act um, provided the biggest boost to the level of output and employment um, uh, fairly soon after its enactment, and has provided a waning boost since then. Uh, we think that the extra debt uh, will start to be an actual drag on the level of output um, later in this decade, not yet. So I think your qualitative point is right, but I wouldn't say a few years it was the more timing. toward the So, end so the my decade. question is this, and, and the second aspect of it is, as we look at the fact that we are getting closer and closer to the drag of that stimulus spending and, and the, the debt that is growing, I think you've indicated we're on an unsustainable path. And as we look at the question of the tax expenditures that Senator Whitehouse pointed out that, that we need to look at, uh, many of us have been fighting uh, not to raise revenue because of the utilization of the tax increases, but to reform the tax code by flattening the base and reducing the rates. Uh, I, I believe that you have testified in the past that that would have a very positive stimulative effect on the economy if, if we approached the reform of the tax code in that fashion. Would that be true? Um, I think it would have a stimulative effect. The size of the stimulative effect depends on the nature of the tax reform itself. But right, I think, I think it certainly a, a, can be a very positive factor, Senator. I just want to be careful about attaching particular adjectives um, to, to just a, a general notion of tax reforms. As you understand, um, lots of things could be labeled that, and it really does depend on the extent to which you and your colleagues uh, are willing to, to do the base broadening measures, remove the tax expenditures in order to bring down uh, the tax rates. Thank you.